everyone, so today's video is going to be my January and February favorites. Um, I'm going to combine these two months together because I did not do a January favorites. However, at the beginning of January I did start a new job, so uh, all of last month and all of this month, all I've been pretty much doing is working. So as you will see by my favorites, it's not too exciting. I have a couple brushes and then pretty much all face products, an eyebrow product, and a blush bronzer highlighter trio thing. Okay, first we're going to start with foundation. So I would have to say that my all-time favorite drugstore foundation has to be the CoverGirl Outlast Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. My shade is in Nude Beige and I love this foundation because it stays put on my face for the entire night. Uh, I believe I brought this foundation with me when I went to Vegas and this just gives you the most flawless um, appearance. Like I said, it lasts all night. Uh, the only downside though, it is uh, a little bit on the drier side so if you have dry skin or if you have dry patches you really want to be careful about how much you put on there because it will cling to your dry patches other than that though it is awesome it is a full coverage foundation in my opinion um, and like I said this is my all-time favorite drugstore foundation another foundation that comes pretty close to the covergirl um, outlast Stay Fabulous foundation is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped foundation and my color is in 150 buff and I like this for different reasons that than I like the CoverGirl one. The reason why I like this is, is because it is a lightweight foundation. Um, I would say it's got a light to medium coverage but this is one of the very few foundations that does not completely melt off my face. Um, I wore this a couple days ago to work. I work 12 hour shifts. Um, so I put on my makeup about 5 a.m. and then I take off my makeup at about 8 30 p.m. So this foundation does not make me look greasy and it does not uh, break down on my face. So that's why I really like it because um, it just gives a, a nice dewy glow but it doesn't look completely disgusting by the end of the day. So I've really been loving this foundation. Next we're gonna keep going with some face products and I'm going to mention the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I have it in the shade Light and I've been really enjoying this concealer lately because it is a, I would, I would say a medium to full coverage concealer. I only use this on my blemishes on my face. Um, but I find that it's one of the most pigmented and, like I said, medium to full coverage concealers that I have. So I've really been enjoying this, especially because I've been kind of breaking out um, on like the edges of my face. So I've really been liking this. Next product is a um, eye setting product. This is from e.l.f. and it is the eye brightener and this is in the shade buff. I believe this only comes in one shade if I'm not mistaken. But I really like this to set my under eye concealer. Um, it is more of a yellow toned powder so it does give a brightening effect just like the name says. And it does come with a little sifter here. And like I said, I really like uh, using this to set my concealer. It does not matter what concealer I wear underneath my eyes. I usually do uh, reach for this product to set it. Next product is an oldie but a goodie. As you can, as you're gonna see from the packaging, it is extremely worn out and old, but I love it. And it is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit. As you can see, most of the running is already uh, rubbed off, but this is in the shade Ash Brown, and I use the middle shade there, as you can see. I love this eyebrow powder because I find that that middle shade is not too warm, not too cool. It is a perfect match to my eyebrows and to my hair 
and I love it. It is what I'm wearing today on my eyebrows. Um, it's just a great, great product, and it's super cheap too at the drugstore. Like, how can you beat that? All right, and the last makeup product is one from Victoria's Secret. Now, I'm gonna put a little disclaimer out here. I don't know if they actually still have this product in store. I looked on the website and they do not have it on the website. Um, they may still have it in store, but I'm not sure. I bought this three years ago, I believe. Um, but it is the Bronzer Highlighter Trio in Glowing. And this is what it looks like. It comes with a highlighting shade a bronzer shade and a peachy blush shade and the reason why I've been loving this is because um, this is a quick go-to product that I tend to reach for when I'm doing my makeup in the morning early early in the morning for work and the reason why I reach for this product is because I have everything I need in this little palette I have my bronzer I have my blush and I have my highlight so I just reach for this because it makes my makeup routine go a little bit faster because I don't have to dig through my drawers to find a blush I want to wear or a highlighter I want to wear. And also um, all of the colors are pretty neutral and they tend to go with any type of look that I want to do. So um, yes, I've been reaching like 9 times out of 10 if I reach for a bronzer it's going to be this one and then I just use, use the highlighter and the blush that comes along with it. Alright, and we're going to get on to the three brushes that I have um, for this January February favorites. And the first one is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I use this brush for foundation and it is awesome. Um, I love that it's dual fiber so it doesn't cling on to the product. It cleans beautifully with a um, brush cleaner and it's extremely dense so it does blend really really well. Um, yes, I really am enjoying these brushes. I only have one other brush and it's I believe the setting brush but I'm really looking forward to trying more products from Real Techniques. The next product is a flawless concealer brush from e.l.f. This is what it looks like. It is just a big fluffy brush that I use to set my under eye concealer with the e.l.f. eye brightener powder. Um, I really enjoy this uh, brush because it is soft and it is fluffy enough to just kind of like buff everything out underneath, um, underneath your eyes. So really been enjoying this one. And the very last product is my e.l.f. Kabuki face brush. And the reason why I love this brush is because it is 100% extremely soft. It does not shed very often. Um, if it does, it'll be like one little brush hair. But it is big, it is fluffy, and it is soft. And I love to set my uh, foundation with this. So, yeah. That is my... January and February favorites. I know, like I said before, not really exciting, but uh, this is uh, this is the makeup I've been reaching for when I do my makeup um, before work. And if I'm not at work, I'm usually not wearing makeup because I'm just around the house doing house stuff. Or actually, I do work stuff from home too. So um, anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And I will see you all next time. Bye.